DJ Pepe. Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? It's your boy DJ Pepe. Hope you guys are doing great. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for everyone subscribing, every like, every view. I really appreciate it. But today I'm going to show you guys what, what lights I have from the beginning that I started back in 2006 till the lights I have today. So first up, we have the robot light. I, I used it back in the day. This light has interchangeable bulbs, the old school robot light. So yeah, I used this one back in 2006 with this strobe. You can still get this boys today. They are very cheap. I think they are like 200 bucks for this one and 100 or 150 for this one. So yeah, they are quite cheap, but you know how the saying goes, you, you get what you pay for in life. So, so yeah, they are not that strong. Nice for our house party, but that's where it stays. I'm gonna start with this one. I think everyone will know this light. It's just called the Shubei Swarm 5FX. It's a RGB AW. So it's red, green, blue, amber, and white. It's a three in one light. It has the Derby effect, the green and red dotted laser, and the strobe as well. So it's a good combination light for all you mobile DJs out there. Get yourself two of these and you're sorted for wedding, weddings, guys. Trust me, this is a good light. I have two of these. Going over to my paw wash lights, I have this ALS, it's an RGB 36 by 3 watts. So what that means, every light, every bulb is 3 watt and it's red, green and blue, red, green and blue. Quite strong, as I said, 3 watts per LED, so you can make your sound quite strong. So next up I bought this last year, six of this, it's an 18 by 2 watt. So the previous one was 36 by 3 watts, this one is 18 by 2 watts. Perfect for uplighting for all you mobile DJs out there. Get yourself like six of these, they are like 200, 300, 400 bucks depending on where you buy them. So yeah, six of these at the wedding for uplighting and you are sorted. Then, next up we have the ALS Wash Moving Head They are 10 watts each 7 bulbs, 7 LEDs by 10 watts So they are quite potent All of these lights are DMX compatible So you can all run them together DMX in, DMX out It's an ALS, it has the LCD screen in the front That you can tune it, DMX or Auto mode or sound mode. This light is a good bang for your bug guys. So if you're starting out now, say for instance you get your first set of speakers, you get your first gig as a mobile DJ and you want to start doing mobile gigs. This is the best bang for your buck, guys. Trust me, I still use this light to till, till today. It has that derby effect. It's, you can just check, it's an RGBW. So it's red, green, blue, and white. It's only sound active. No DMX in or out. It's like a Chinese brand. Jellyfish, called the jellyfish. You can pick them up for like 300 bucks. So yeah, good bang for your buck. Get yourself one or two of these and you will see they will make a big difference. You can switch later up to, to the Shibai Swarm 5 FX. But if you're starting out, you don't have that much money, get yourself a good set of speakers, two of these and you are ready to rock a party. Guys, so this is my RGB P laser. It is 550 milliwatts. So that means that is the power of the lasers, it's the combined total milliwattage. 
of all four lasers together, 550 milliwatt. Some of the lasers are stronger than the others, like for instance the green and the blue and the purple are stronger than the red, but you guys will know the cheaper line of lasers, the red is all, always a little weaker than the, the, than the other colors, like the green and purple and blue. Going over to my Colo laser guys that I have, it's a single blue Colo laser, it's 300 milliwatts, you can get them for around 2600 Rand, check it out on Amazon, very nice light, also DMX compatible in and out, you can run it without DMX sound active or on auto mode without the DMX controller. This is a RGBY Dixon laser guys, so I bought this one like 7-8 years ago, it still works but the lasers isn't that bright anymore, they done their job, they done their gigs, a big thumbs up to this laser for doing a great job in the past, he still works as I, as I mentioned but he had his days. So this is my red and green dot laser. This is not DMX compatible, it only has the power input, you get the remote with them. This is more the upline market of the red and green star laser as they are known in the, in the industry. This is the more the upmarket one, you can get them for around 800 bucks. Good bang for your buck to put with your other lights if you don't have like a Swarm 5 FX because this feature is the same as the laser on the Swarm 5 FX, just a little stronger because it's a unit on its own. You get a remote with it, so you can auto mode it, you can sound mode it, you can let him do what he wants to do on the remote. So guys, this is my double colo blue laser. It is the same as this laser, just a bit stronger because it's two lasers. This one is 300 milliwatt as mentioned previously. This one is 200 milliwatts each. So it's 400 milliwatts, it works together. It's also DMX compatible with the large LED screen. You can tune the sensitivity, power on and off, DMX in and out. And this is also a blue laser as I mentioned. So guys, that will be a wrap on my lighting review. This is all the lights I have currently. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to be using the, all those lights in the future for my big gigs. Be sure to check out my other gig logs. Be sure to check out my Facebook please and my Instagram. And be sure to like this video and subscribe and leave any comments and concerns down below guys. And please be up to date with all my latest geek logs. I will be posting one early next week and I'll check you guys then. Have a good one guys.